What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Rusted Warfare video. In today's video, we will be covering the basics of the Carrier, the premier late game naval option. The Carrier is built at the upgraded Z factory for a cost of 30,000 credits. It takes 64.1 seconds to build and has a health pool of 6,000. It does not have a shield. It has a move speed of 0.5. It has three projectile attacks, one against each type of enemy. The sub attack deals 65 damage every 3 seconds, while the ground attack deals 110 times 2 every 1.67 seconds. The air attack deals 80 damage times 2 every 1.67 seconds. All three of these attacks have a range of 290. The carrier has quite a few different aspects to it. I will do my best to summarize. One of the first things you may notice about the carrier is that it has three circles around it whenever it is highlighted. From what I can tell, the outer circle is its anti-nuke range, as this unit can build anti-nukes. The middle circle is its weapon range, and the inner circle is the range of the repair beam and laser shield. The carrier also has the ability to self-repair, and it can build air units twice as fast as an air factory. The final aspect of this unit is that it contains a fabricator, which raises your income by 8 credits per tick. The carrier will explode on death if nukes are enabled. With all of that being said, the carrier makes for an excellent late game air factory, as well as helping defend on most any map with water. Just be sure to not let your carriers blow up your own defenses. That about sums up my thoughts on the carrier. A late game water unit can build you an air army in no time. With some income, of course. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.